Officials with NAS Pensacola are preparing for worst case scenarios. News 5's Brian Clerkley is at NAS tonight to tell us what they're doing. I'm here on NAS Pensacola right now where there's an active shooter training going on in one of the buildings and we have NAS officials as well as law enforcement officials from the county all participating. Just imagine you were trapped inside a building with an active shooter. NAS officials say this is the training that can save lives. In this scenario, there are two gunmen that take hostages inside an NAS building. In this world we're living in today, it's important that we, we think about these things and, uh, and we do these drills so that, again, we're prepared for them should the unfortunate happen. Officials with NAS say this training helps law enforcement, the fire department, and other first responders learn exactly how to stop an active shooter. Having the, uh, the police department and fire department go through, actually physically do it, it allows it to become a little bit more um, automatic for them. They come in, they go right into it, they, they neutralize the bad guy, and they start um, giving um, uh, assistance to those that have been shot. Hathaway says the exercise can help first responders and NAS officials learn what they need to improve upon for next time and gain an inside knowledge and tips on how people can survive an active shooter situation. Active shooters can happen anywhere, um, not just on bases. It can happen anywhere on time. You should always be prepared, always know an exit route. Now, officials with NAS say that this training will be done again in the next three months. In Pensacola, I'm Bryant Clerkley, WKRG News 5.